would be devastating, not just to our communities, uh, while we certainly would be hit the hardest, uh, all of Lake County and across the state. A potential repeal of Ohio's controversial House Bill 6 could have lasting consequences for the 230,000 people who live in Lake County. If it is repealed, local leaders say the Perry nuclear power plant would have to close. That would result in the loss of hundreds of jobs and millions of dollars in tax revenue. Our Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis with us live again tonight. Joe, this all goes back to the arrest of Ohio's House Speaker. Rob Lurie, householder, is at the center of a massive bribery investigation linked to the passage of House Bill 6, and now lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are calling for it to be repealed. We're really reliant on the revenue stream, the tax revenue that comes from that plan. Perry School Superintendent Dr. Jack Thompson says his district would lose 35 to 40 percent of its operating revenue and face massive cuts if the Perry plant was shuttered. 700 wonderful families that work there that are raising their children in the area, um, you know, would be forced to move and leave. Thompson says Perry schools would be forced to make up millions in lost revenue and would have to turn to Perry businesses to make up the difference, causing even more lost jobs. The area businesses that would have to all of a sudden see their, their tax, uh, tax increase up to maybe 50, 60 percent simply couldn't operate either. And on top of all of that, we have real estate taxes, which are about three and a half million a year. Lake County Commissioner Jerry Serino says there would be millions in lost spinoff revenue, likely cuts in Perry Township area police, fire and safety services. And unlike huge economic losses faced by Lordstown when the GM plant closed last year, there's no plan B. A, it can't reopen. It, once you shut it down, it's shut down for good. And B, it really can't be repurposed to generate taxes in some other way. And Rob, Commissioner Serino says Ottawa County faces the same economic fate if House Bill 6 energy credits for the Davis-Bessie nuclear plant are also rolled back. Joe, again, there's a, a lot here. Are state lawmakers in these communities aware of these potential economic shockwaves? Rob, Commissioner Serino says he and five other commissioners from Lake and Ottawa County sent a message to the State House in Columbus asking that a repeal and replacement bill be crafted, putting less on ratepayers but still providing funding to help keep both plants operating. But others, including some lawmakers, believe ratepayers shouldn't have to foot the bill in any way, Rob, to keep those plants afloat. And that is big. Joe Paganakis reporting live for us one more time tonight. Thank you, Joe.